Good morning, everybody. Hi, it's Angie. Welcome to Hot and Flashy. Um, today's video is going to be a vloggy video, a get ready with me chit chat behind the scenes of a video shoot that I just went on. I am super tired this morning. I just flew in from LA last night. I got home about midnight. I went on a quick three day trip where it was basically two full days of travel to go across the country. One day of filming my ultimate dream collab that I'm so excited about. And I can't wait for that video to be up in about a month and a half. And uh, I've got a new sunscreen to try and I've got a whole box of new makeup that's been sitting around Around here waiting for me to give it a try so I thought we would just do a get ready with me chit chat. I shot some video out in LA do a little behind the scenes and you guys when I say that this is my dream collab oh my gosh my dream collab you know I get offered so many like sponsored videos every day of the week I turn down hundreds of sponsored videos a year because they're for brands that I either have never heard of or I have tried their products and I didn't like them or they're brands that just don't resonate with me and when I get offered something that is like a brand that I absolutely love, Omnilux, you guys know how much I love my Omnilux mask and especially when they give me the opportunity to go film with someone who is kind of my idol, you know, here on YouTube. <laughs> If I could be a dermatologist and have a channel, it would be like Dr. Dre from Dr. Dre's Days. She's a dermatologist here on YouTube. She just is such a genuine person, such a straight shooter, and I love that about her. I've been following her for years since she first popped up on YouTube. She's had such great success. It's interesting because I know I have some viewers who don't want me to take any sponsorships or do any collabs ever. And then I have some viewers who are always so happy for me and like, oh my God, that's an amazing opportunity. That's that's great. So, you know, wherever you land in there, this really is the perfect kind of collab video for me to do because it is for a product that I've been using for years and I do love and I did see great results with. And it is filming with someone who I really admire and uh, it was just such a great opportunity. So I was so happy to go out and do it. So we'll take a look at that a little bit later. But right now let's talk about the Numbuzzin number one clear filter sun essence. It's an SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 sunscreen. This is a Korean sunscreen. And this one has all the exact same sunscreening filters as my favorite chemical sunscreen, which is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Airy Fit SPF 50. So it should be pretty similar to that, I'm thinking. Um, I'm just gonna do the two finger method. Oh, it is kind of green. I'm gonna use this much of it today. I already do have sunscreen on my neck. When I'm using these chemical sunscreens, I don't tend to use them on my neck because my neck still does get a little bit irritated by some of the chemical sunscreens that could be in there. So I'm just gonna put it on my face. So I'm not using the full quarter teaspoon, which would normally be for my face and my neck. And actually, let me just pull my hair back a little bit. Okay, so it is slightly green. So I wonder if it's gonna be like a little bit color correcting. That is definitely a difference between this and my Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Airy Fit is that that one doesn't have any kind of a tint or a cast to it. It's just white, but it rubs in perfectly clear. And what I like about that one is that it's not shiny. Wow, that goes on feeling really, really nice. It just feels like a lightweight skin lotion. It doesn't feel greasy. And look at that nice finish. It does have a little bit of a soft luminosity, but nothing like super duper shiny. Yeah, it blends in really, really nicely. I'm not sure that the green tint really did anything as far as reducing the redness. Like I feel like you still see the redness here. You know, my skin is just very mottled in general. That's kind of why I like the tinted mineral sunscreens because they do start to color correct my skin and then a lot of times I don't have to wear any makeup. I'm gonna give it about 15 minutes to dry and set before we go in with the makeup. So while we're waiting, I wanted to swatch the lippies that we're gonna be using today. This is the new launch from Ravi Beauty and this is is a friend of mine, Allie Glines' brand of makeup. And I don't know if you're familiar with Allie, but she's got a makeup YouTube channel. She is the sweetest person. Her first makeup product was these lipsticks, but she just launched three new colors of them. So I wanted to swatch some. These are really hydrating. They're kind of a cross between a lipstick and a lip balm. So here are the swatches from this direction. This is Lily. The middle one is Poppy, and this one is Rose. They're all so pretty. Look how creamy, check out that sheen. I do like a nude, so I'll probably go with Lily today, but we'll put that on at the end. In the meantime, I'm gonna prime my eyelids because I always like an eyelid primer. I'm gonna use the NYX Ultimate Lid Primer. Put that on here. 
So the next product I wanted to use is this Dermatology Luminous Eye Corrector SPF 41. This is a tinted minerals eye sunscreen. It's very similar to like the Color Science one, but I think it costs less. So this is $44 for a quarter of an ounce. The Color Science is $79 for a quarter of an ounce. They both come in different shades. I'm not sure this is the right shade for me. This is fair. I'm just gonna pop that on under my eyes and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in with my fingers. Ooh, that looks nice. I mean, it's definitely luminous for like half the price, higher SPF, really good product. Um, I am definitely gonna have to get the darker color in it though. Okay, so for the foundation today, I have got the Jane Iredale Powder Foundation. Lisa J from Lisa J Makeup loves this. The Jane Iredale stuff I have for today was sent in PR and through Lisa, what I've learned about the Jane Iredale powder is that it works best if you use a couple of other products with it, which is not what I love to hear about makeup. You know, I like things that just work on their own, but according to Lisa, the powder works best if you use their primer and their setting spray to get it to look less powdery. The primer that she recommends is the Jane Iredale Smooth Affair Brightening Face Primer. And should we do one side? We'll just put it on this side and see what happens with the foundation. If it wears better, looks nicer, or if maybe you don't really need it, who knows? This has like a lemony fragrance to it. So here's the Jane Iredale Powder Foundation. This is, oh, it doesn't have anything on the back to tell me what shade it is. What shade are you? That's funny, I don't seem to have the box and I don't know what shade it is. I'm gonna use my BK106 brush to apply it. Work that around. I think that's gonna be a good shade match. You know, I'm always looking for the perfect powder foundation that I can just throw on over like a super shiny sunscreen just to mattify my face down and give me a little color and color correct a bit. So I sat next to the cutest service dog on the way home last night on the plane. I go to my seat and I'm next to the window and I tap the guy and, you know, say, oh, that's my seat. And he goes, I hope you like dogs. And I'm like... I love dogs, why? And I see this big dog laying on the floor at his feet and I'm just like, oh, hello, cutie. So it was Charlie, the service dog. He is a uh, English sheepdog. Oh my God, what a sweetie, what a good boy he was. Okay, let's take a look at that. It's funny, I kind of like it on the side without the primer a little bit better. I don't have a new concealer today, but I'm just gonna go with my Holy Grail Lancome Tint Edol. I'm gonna use my A506 brush to blend it out. I got a text from my daughter saying that Alex Earl, who's a huge TikToker, was using my brush in one of her TikTok videos. I've gotten so many questions on this concealer brush. And when I tell you it is the best, it makes my concealer blend out like butter. And she didn't mention any of the other products in it. She stopped to mention my brush and how wonderful she thought it was. So that was amazing. That goes on really nicely over the sunscreen. My skin is so tired from the last three days that I feel like it's just like dragging down in the uh, eye puffiness is just like, Whoa. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Why are you, why are you putting on two layers of things? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that with the NYX Mineral Matte Powder because it's so, so very lightweight and it won't add any extra heaviness. I'm gonna use my BK108 brush. This is a nice soft fluffy brush that I love for setting powder. Just to mattify that down, you see how that shininess kind of accentuates the puffiness. And now that I've mattified it, the puffiness is a little bit less accentuated. For the blush today, I have another product from Jones Road. You know, I've done two reviews on Jones Road, kind of hit or miss for me, but the Jones Road people emailed me and said, hey, we saw your review. We'd like to send you some more products for you to try. And I was like, of course, I'd love to try more products. You know, I'm hoping to find things from them that I really do like. This is their stick blush. It's a cheek and lip tint. Hopefully a cream blush will work okay over <laughs> this Jane Iredale foundation. Yeah, probably not a good idea. It's kind of removing the foundation there. So let me just go ahead and use a powder blush. I'll use my favorite, the uh, Dior Backstage Rosy Glow. I'm not really looking to do a full, full on makeup look today. I've got to run errands, got to do laundry, got to go to the grocery store, got to make a PT appointment for my dog because, uh, you know, she had that big surgery earlier in the summer and apparently she has so much like muscle wasting that she now has to go to PT. So, you know, she's on the mend, but it's taking a while. 
That blush is really pretty. It's got a nice sheen to it. This one doesn't have as much of a sheen on this side. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with the Jane Iredale setting spray on top of this. This is the Palmist Hydration Spray. Mm, what does that smell? Smarties. Yeah, that's what it smells like. Oh my God, Smarties, 100%. Woo! Interesting smell. Jones Road also sent a couple of eyeshadows. All right, so this first one is in the shade Cream. I had purchased this one when I did the video, but I think I used it over their uh, cream shadows and those really creased in my crease. And so I wasn't happy with them. So I did want to retry these with lid primer to see if they would wear better. That was my A501 brush. I'm gonna go in with the A502 brush and this beautiful taupey brown color. It's called Penny. This is gorgeous. It does have a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's not like totally metallic shimmery. Now I'm gonna use my A505 brush and the third shade, which is rose gold. I'm gonna apply it from the center of my lid down to the inner corner. Let me go ahead and do my eyeliners off camera. What I used is my Sephora 12 hour contour liner in T-Rex for the uppers and the About Face eyeshadow stick in Pearly on the lowers. I'm gonna give the same mascara a try. This came in PR. Mm, it's fragranced, which I don't really love in a mascara. I don't get putting fragrance in mascara, frankly. Oh, that's nice. This brush is very, very prickly. It's not like one of those super fuzzy brushes. So I feel like it's really gonna pick up and define every lash. And I like how it's going on. It's not clumpy at all. It's very smooth. You know, I like that nice, long, silky lash look. All right, let's take a look at the makeup up close. For the brows, I picked up one of these little brow pens. This one is from Amazon. I love the packaging on this. Isn't that pretty? So it's one of these pens that has like the little trident so you can draw little brow hairs on. So let me go ahead and try to draw on some brow hairs. I need to get more ink down into it. I feel like it's drying up already. Ah, what just happened? A big blob of red ink just came out there. <laughs> that doesn't look good. Let's get rid of that big blob of red. I feel like the ink has separated. It's coming out two different colors. That's a fail. All right, let me just put on the Ravi Lippy and Lily. And it's just like a cross between a lipstick and a lip balm. Hmm, that feels really, really nice. All right, so I think that's everything that I wanted to try on for you today. So I'll wear it throughout the day and we will see how it wears. So far, I gotta say, I like the Jane Iredale side without the primer better than with the primer. I feel like the primer side is extra shiny and so it's accentuating my pores more. It's 1130 now, so I can do a four hour and an eight hour check-in on it. But in the meantime, I'll leave you with the vlog of my trip. Good morning, I'm all ready for my flight. I'm heading out to LA today. I'm gonna do a video with Dr. Dre, a dermatologist, and we're talking about Omnilux. So I'm really excited for it. It's gonna be a quick turnaround. I fly out today, it's cross country flight. I film all day tomorrow and then I come back the next day. So just a quickie, no time to visit friends or do anything in LA, but wanted to share my luggage, my travel outfit, um, so this is my base bag. I love it. I am going to check it. Uh, and then this is my little backpack where I have my laptop and all of the things that I need. A little bag of makeup because I'm going makeup free to start because it is 8 o'clock in the morning. And I've got, I won't be there till 4.30 this afternoon, which will be 7.30 in my head. So 12 hours of travel ahead. So these are those beautiful, luscious Zella pants from the Nordstrom sale. I love them. Um, so comfy, great for travel. And these are some Sam Edelman or Dolce Vita sneakers. I've got this Zella hoodie and then just a little tank top underneath. And that's my travel outfit. So I've got an hour ride to the airport and then a whole lot of travel today. So have a great day and I will see you in LA. Check out 
this hallway. It's like being at Versailles. This courtyard looks gorgeous. Ooh, how pretty. It's so peaceful out here. All right, here's my hotel room. Water over here in the entry vestibule. Check out this bathroom. Whoa. <laughs> Toilet closet. Shower. Nice vanity. Tub for soaking. Oh, hi, there's me. Hey. Closet. Robes. Slippers. Over here. Goes around to the bedroom. There we go. Oh, nice big bed. And then back out here to the living room. And then back around a circle to the front door. All right, so I'm finally here after a long, long day of travel. Sorry, I have my Invisalign in. Um, so I might sound a little funny, but six o'clock here, nine o'clock in my head. So I'm just gonna call a room service, get some dinner, eat, sleep. And then when I get up tomorrow morning, I'll have a little bit of time in the morning to prep and get ready to go to the recording studio where we're going to record the video. My dinner has arrived. Oh, look how pretty. Nice hunk of salmon mm. and a Caesar salad dressing on the side. Look, they include flowers, a little water and some bread. So I am going to dig in, catch the some of the Emmy Awards, and uh, get prepped and ready for filming tomorrow. Good morning, so here's my breakfast this morning. I'm having yogurt with granola and fresh fruit and a pot of tea. My car is gonna be downstairs in about 10 minutes. I'm ready to go. I love this dress. I decided to do my hair and makeup myself today. I think it came out pretty good. Love the eyeshadow. It's the Natasha Denona Soft Glam Palette, one of my favorites. They will have a hair and makeup artist on the set, but she can, you know, give me touch-ups for shininess and zhuzh up my hair a little bit. Because you know what? When I feel more like myself, I'm less nervous. I know these products are gonna last all day. So I just wanted to show you my little makeup setup here in the hotel room. Hold on, let me turn the camera around. So I always like to do my makeup by a nice sunny window. And so I move that little table over here and this chair from the desk. And I always bring this travel makeup mirror because it has this magnetized mirror that sticks right on and I love that. Of course, I brought my brush set with a couple of extras. And this is what I usually carry on the plane with just some, you know, little things in there. Like that, a mascara, a stick foundation, some eyeliners and things. Here are the other things that I brought, the Natasha Denona palette. I'm wearing the Dior Forever Matte and the Elf Soft Glam foundations, both. And I'm really liking this new setting powder I got from Sephora. So that's my little makeup table set up. All right, my ride's gonna be here in a minute, so I better get going. Just arrived at the recording studio. I'm so psyched to go in and get started. Can't wait to see Dr. Dre. So let's go on in. There's the hair and makeup table. Here's the set where we're gonna be sitting. It's so pretty. And here's the crew and all their cameras. Dr. Dre's over there getting her portrait done. Let's see how she's coming out. Speaking of our community, I asked my audience for questions for you. I don't know if you did the same. Yes, I have so. quite a few juicy ones here. <laughs> All right, so here's my going out to dinner outfit. The brand is taking Andrea and I out for dinner tonight. So I think it's casual. <laughs> Hopefully, since I wore a dress today, I thought I'd just wear jeans to dinner. So these are a new pair that I got during Nordstrom sale. They're the Good Americans. I love these, they fit so well. And then I'm just wearing this sheer lavender blouse. It's actually really long. I was debating wearing it out and loose or tying it, but I think tucked in looks really nice with this blouse. So I'm gonna go with that. And of course the shoes I've been wearing the whole trip are the sorrels, but oh my gosh, on these hotel floors, <laughs> 
So we did the shoot today. It went really well. Dr. Dre is so lovely. It was so nice to really get to sit down and talk to her to discuss all things skincare. And I'm really excited about how the video is gonna come out. The set was so pretty. Everybody was so nice. It was just a really great day. Sweet girl. Who's happy mommy's home? Yeah. Hello, darling. Hi. <laughs> so we'd do an outdoor check-in on the makeup. So here's the Jane Iredale. This is a side with their primer. This is a side without. Look way over there, right there. There are four snowy egrets living in that tree. Cool is that? There's been a helicopter flying overhead for oh, like a half an hour over the marsh. I don't know if they're looking for someone or something, but let's go out and see what it's doing. <laughs> Hey, you guys, I'm back. It's four o'clock. It's time for a four and a half hour check-in on the makeup. I just reapplied the lippy. I'm using the Ravi and Poppy. My lips didn't feel dry after wearing the other shade Lily this morning. And so when I come back for the next check-in, I'll put on the red one. All right, so just looking around my face, I'm pretty happy with this Jane Iredale powder foundation for of the powder foundations that I've used. I think this is probably the nicest one. It's staying very much looking like it did when I first put it on. I do like the side without the primer better than the side with the primer. The side with the primer is definitely more luminous and accentuating of like pores and texture on this side of my face, but I feel like this side of my face, I just like the look better. So for me, I don't feel like the primer is something that I would be reaching for again. The foundation is a little settled in the wrinkles by the side of my mouth, and it's interesting because it's also a little bit red around them, so not sure what's going on with that, but it's not settled in any forehead wrinkles or anything. So the under eyes, not looking fantastic. It's Considering that I have on the two coats of products, the sunscreen and then my regular concealer, they're not perfect, but it is wearing really well. And I gotta say, that's one of the things that I don't love 100% about the Haru Haru Wonder sunscreen is that it does make my under eye concealer wear off faster and look a little crunchier than normal. It's something I'm definitely gonna have to test on another day with just the sunscreen and just my concealer. And then on a separate day, just the Dermatology under eye sunscreen alone. I'm really happy with the mascara, how it looks and how it's wearing. And the eyeshadow is still in place and really good looking. So are the eyebrows. Hey, I'm back at 7.45. So we're looking at the eight hour check-in on the makeup. And I just want to put on the last shade of the Ravi lipstick. This one is Rose. Oh, so that actually has more color payout than I thought it would. It's really pretty. I don't usually wear red. I used to a long time ago. <laughs> wear red all the time. Of course, the nude one is my favorite, Lily. I think this is something that is definitely gonna go in my handbag. I'm gonna be using this and wearing this all the time. I love this formula. All right, looking at myself from a distance, I think the makeup looks okay, but when I look at it up close, there are a lot of problems going on here on my face. There is a lot of little flakiness going on, like around here, very, very flaky. There's a lot of flakes up here by my hairline. I'm not sure if that's a sunscreen, or the powder foundation. So I feel like on my skin, this might be a little bit drying. I am definitely gonna have to try it again with like no makeup on a no makeup day. So then the other thing that could be causing it is the foundation. I think that the foundation has worn pretty well throughout the day. It hasn't really worn off anywhere. You know, it's still in place on my nose, up here, on my chin, the usual places where things worn off and I'm still seeing the coverage there. I just am not liking how it's looking up close with all the flaking going on everywhere. Also, it has gotten shinier, like by the side of my nose. It's just kind of down my T-zone. It's just gotten a little bit shinier. I don't feel like it needs the primer. I actually prefer how it looks on the side of my face where I didn't use the primer than the side of my face where I did use the primer. With the um, setting spray, I'm not sure how this affected the wear. You know, I put it over the whole thing. The Dermatology sunscreen, I do need to pick up a better shade of this for me so that I can use it without putting concealer on over it because, you know, it looked really, really nice and really, really smooth. Just 
too pale for me until I put the concealer on and then it got too heavy. So I think the combination of this plus the concealer plus the sunscreen under was a little bit too much. This Jones Road blush is actually really a surprise to me because I put it on, I felt like it did remove the powder foundation a little bit, but look at that. Talk about staying power. That, you can still see it. It's still right in place. The Jones Road powder eyeshadows are very nice. They went on really smoothly. They blended out really nicely. The color is still on my eyelids. Good color payout. I wasn't thrilled with the eyebrow pen. I gotta say it is still in place and it does still look good, but it was just a little odd the way it broke up and started coming out in a few different colors. And the same mascara is the last thing. I think the same mascara is really pretty. It's not giving me a ton of volume, but it is giving me separated silky looking lashes, a little bit of length. So I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes and the little makeup try on in the chatty get ready with me today. If you did, give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All the products that I shared in today's video will be linked in the info box below the video. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.